One more thing that I do want to point out, talking about kind of these self-contained components, is view encapsulation. And so this allows us to apply styles and choose how we scope them to our components. So using view encapsulation none, you create a style, and it's going to just blow out. I mean, it's just basically going to be applied to everything dynamically. If you use view encapsulation emulated, then um, actually, let me skip to native first. So this is the default, and it's going to use shadow DOM. So when you create a style on your component, it's only available to that component and its children. And then view encapsulation emulated is, I haven't used this one. Scott, do you know what this, I haven't used emulated. Do you know what this does? Yeah, it's, it's um, default. Is this emulated the default? Yeah, yeah okay. it's, the, it's the default. So it just like adds like cryptic characters. Oh, right. So we saw that actually on the router outlet. Or rather, the thing that was adding, or so like, when did this happen? So. And it sticks a style tag in the top of the dome. Yep. Yeah. So we'll do just a quick demo of this, and then we'll get to our, we'll at least talk about the challenge before we get to our delicious food. We'll see. So where is view encapsulation? OK. So what you can see here, we have two H1 tags in the parent component. It is red, and in the child component, it is green. How is that happening? Well, in my component.ts, we're saying H1 is green, and it's being emulated. So it is basically saying, OK, we're going to add this you know, kind of dynamically generated style, and it's going to generate this on the fly. Now, if we go back here, and we go to my component, and we set this to none, I think it's actually, I got my casing wrong here. Hang on. You can see that by setting that style, it's not only affected the parent component, but it's actually affected the entire page, except for this one. Interestingly enough, so it's actually saying, I'm going to go out and I'm going to basically blow this out. But in the parent component, because we have its own encapsulation. So if I went here to none, let's see what happens. So this is interesting that. <clears throat> this one is blowing it out, but then this one is going down to the child component. Is that because of the important statement? I believe so. So let's see if we take this off. So let's go here. Let's see what native does. Did I break something? Let me see. That is weird. Let's go back to emulated. Let's go back into our child component. Let's just reset this real quick.
everything is back to normal, red, and green. So I am interested in why. Maybe when uh, it, it's uh, when you're doing. So I'm not going to fret about this. Certainly not going to let it ruin my lunch. But I did think it was interesting that the child component, when I set it to none, was actually reaching out across outside of the parent component and setting it. But the parent component wasn't getting set. But then once I changed the parent component, that the child component styles was still taking, but then the parent component was being applied to the child. So that is, that is a mystery that I will probably ponder well into my chicken kebabs. I think the child style tag is um, prior to the parent style tag. In terms of how it's being loaded to yeah. the page? Yeah. yeah. That would make most, it, that seems like what would be causing that. Set this to none. Let's see. We can shed some light on this. Let's see if we got a. Yeah, so I'd wager that is what is happening. And so you can see that it's actually adding in styles, and it's an order issue, and this is why this is. In the, the top one, that's specific to the parent component. But here, it's a general, kind of a stylized thing. And I think if you set the parent to none as well, I think then um, that it would put those style tags. At least I'm making an assumption. I think it would be interesting to see if like the order is affecting where it's saying like red is first because it's the parent, and then green is second because it's the child, and it's actually overriding that. Render H1. Yep. So interesting that if you have conflicting styles, simply because it's going to put it in the page from parent to child, then so you can override. Red now, though, right? So I bet these are both red. So they both have the extra class of dot render. Yes, but because we're setting this general H1 tag on the child component, it's being added to the DOM. And so it's setting everything else to green because it's just this generic H1 tag. So do keep that in mind. This would bite me probably at least once or twice. I could see this someone being like, what is going on here? Like, you know, how come I'm setting the style here and it's showing up on, you know, it's going outside of it? Or I'm expecting this to cascade down and it's not. So do, if you run into that, the solution is to jump into. And if you're head tag and see like how are these styles being applied, and um, obviously overriding an H1 tag, I think is irresponsible. Shame on me! I should have never done that. But there we go. So a bit of a fun experiment on that.